South Point condominium located in Pratternack Hill is an exciting development by Kingdom Property and with construction already started we caught up with Nigel Cornick as he gives us an update on the project live on Mix 88.5 FM. Uh, and joining us uh, this week on our property update, uh, Nigel Cornick is with us, the CEO of Kingdom Property, who is celebrating two things uh, this weekend. It is a, a new bicycle, which we've just talked about, the fifth cycle, um, because it, it's a tight thing, isn't it, talking about the, the birthdays going in a cycle of 12. So you're hitting a new cycle. I'll be entering my sixth cycle, Russell. Uh -huh. The fifth cycle wheels are almost falling off. No stabilisers? No stabilisers. I lost those about... Ten years ago. I okay. Um, uh, oh, it's also, a cycle ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and also, uh, Kingdom Property are coming up to one year, or is it passing one year, or celebrating oh, the first basically year? Basically, one, one year. Uh, in fact, today we, we had our uh, initial launch function for South Point. Okay. Uh, which was our first project within Kingdom uh, of a development uh, nature. So, uh, we're celebrating two things. Okay. And, uh, we've got a big party at uh, Centaur Grand, which uh, say we're all looking forward to. It, it seems that... Kingdom Property has been around for such a long time, and, you, and you're saying it, it's it's just one year. You you made a, a, a big impact as you've got onto the market, I think. Yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, one one of the key issues in in markets like Patty is you, you've got to be visible. Yeah. Um, and if you're not visible, then then people you know, perhaps don't give you the credibility that uh, you. You deserve in many ways. Yeah. Uh, so this market is probably of all the markets in in Thailand the one where there's the most boards, the most advertising, the most magazines. It, it, it's, <laughs> Sorry it, about that. It's it's the nature of the market, and and mm. to some extent, you know, if you drive around Patty and you see all the boards, all the pirate boards, you think, well, do you really need to do all this? Uh, mm. But unfortunately, if you don't do it, then you're not in the games. So. Mm. It's the old, if you're not in it, you can't win it type of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so it feels like you've, you've been around for a long time as Kingdom Property, but I think a lot of us know, Tim knows, uh, Dave knows, we all know you from um, several years before. Uh, this is not your first venture into the property market. No, or the radio market. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no I, I've, been, I've been in Thailand for 23 years now, and uh, I first came here with Collie's Jardine mm. and set up their office in Bangkok. Uh, did that for just over two and a half years, then... Had a bit of a stint looking at uh, Vietnam with uh, <coughs> the Harmony Property Group. And then in 96, I joined uh, uh, Raymond just before the, the financial crash, uh, which was perfect timing. Yeah. And uh, we spent five years restructuring Raymond. Uh, came out of rehab in 2001. And then we, we took it from there. You know, we, we, we did quite a lot in the, the, the 2001 to 2009 period. Actually, about 500,000 square metres of, yeah. of real estate. We, we, we either built, finished, secured. So we, and, we did a lot. And I think a lot of people just still sort of tie you in as that, you're the, the pioneer, if they like, of, of Raymond Land at that time. Without, uh, well, without uh, you at the heads, it, it, it was rather quiet. And when you were there, it was big business again. Yeah, well, I, I think any company has to have somebody at the front of it. Mm. And, and it's all very well having consensus management and... You know, structures which which don't have that, uh, that 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 leadership, but you know if you don't do it, then you know it really it, it's it's a lot harder if you don't do it that way. Yeah. Mm. But harder. Kingdom Property now is is more your baby. Yeah, uh, obviously uh, there's, there's two things. One is being the head of the company and, and driving it forward. The other is being the owner of the company, and and uh, you know having the uh, I suppose the upside and also the downside. Mm. Uh, of, of being a major shareholder. Mm. Let, let's talk about the, the first project that you've got up and running now, which is, as you said, you just had a, a launch today for South Point. Tell us a bit about South Point. Well, South, South Point, we uh, we kicked it off uh, say a year ago. A year ago. ago, so a year ago. And um, we've, uh, we've got all our approvals, we've got our pre-sale requirements for our funding, and we've let the contract to Buig. And, and Buig are now on site. Uh, and uh, we've got a 24-month construction program. Uh, and, and really, in, in many respects, a lot of the, the front end work is, is done. Obviously, we've still got units to sell, and we, yeah. we we've got to keep uh, we, we, we've got to keep the contractor on online in terms of quality, etc. But you know, a lot of a lot of the, the, the hard work in many respects has been done, and that's mm -hmm. why you do need to have your pipeline in place because 
the next one takes that period of time to uh, to bring on stream and uh, uh, real estate's a long-term game well, someone told me some time ago there was as many years before actually something gets in the ground and starts going upwards um, there's many years of planning and designing and, and thinking about things and, and how things go. So is, is that the sort of stage you're in now for the, the next project? No, we, we've, we've secured the land uh, and we're now going through the design development process leading up to submitting an EIA application. Yeah. And that should be probably October, November. And hopefully get our approvals first quarter next year. And then we move into the marketing phase yeah. and, and then it all... Uh, um, Steam rolls. We hope. Yeah, yeah. Okay. South Point has has two towers. That's correct. Yes. Now, one of them is is not going to be condos. One of them is going to be. Uh, well, it's basically suites. the whole the whole project is a condo project. Okay. But the, but the second building, with smaller of the buildings, will be run as a, as a service department. Uh, but it will still be condo condo okay. minimised. Yeah. Um, we can't uh, have a hotel there because uh, it's very. Very difficult to, in fact, almost impossible to get a hotel license on a condominium mm. uh, building. So uh, it will be run as a, as, as a service department uh, by an international operator mm. to be decided. Okay, because that seems like a place where people actually want to go. And, and we, we've talked about it as well uh, over the last few, ma- few months. It, it's a nice place to spend some time. You're close enough to the city, but not right in the city. Uh, you're close enough to the beach, and, and everything is, is there. So it's a great place for people to come and spend some holiday time um, in Pratumnak. So a, a good place to have service departments. Yeah, well, you're seeing more longer-term stays in mm. terms of both the, the foreign market and uh, also engineers working over on the uh, eastern seaboard uh, industrial states, and, and they maybe need somewhere for three months. They don't need it for a year. Yeah. So I, I think definitely as that development continues, uh, the industrial base, then there'll be more demand for service department. Because I think we'll, also when we, we talked about over the last few months is difficult to find, um, for want of a better word, expensive properties for people to rent out. Yeah, I mean, I think something you need to bear in mind um, is that Patia, the, the typical demographic of, of your visitors to Patia has changed quite significantly over the last five, seven years. Uh, and, and we've talked about this, lots more families these days. Um, now, you're going away, uh, husband, wife, couple of kids. If you go to stay in the Royal, Cl- uh, Royal Cliff Hotel, where a hotel typically operates on what we would call studio apartments, the hotel rooms are normally studio yeah. apartments. Um, but obviously, to, to hire two or three rooms is, is very, very expensive. You know, when, you, when you're looking at a, a property uh, like South Point, which is obviously going to be uh, a, grade, uh, a grade A condominium, uh, with the same sort of resort-style facilities in terms of swimming pools. Um, uh, I presume there'll be a, a gymnasium there. Very, very similar to a hotel in many respects, even though it isn't called one. It's in Cozy Beach, which is a very, very nice holiday-type area um, with a very, very nice beach down at the front, Mount, Mountain Beach, close to both Patia and Jomti and close to a lot of restaurants. Ticks a lot of boxes, and a family can rent mm. a two- or three-bedroom unit within a serviced apartment and pay only the, the one rate, which will probably be quite similar to what a single room would be in, a, in the, the Royal Cliff or the Doucet or, or, or whatever. So, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense for, for families to look at that kind of accommodation. What's, what's the time frame for South Point to be completed? Because you've got all the, the big corporates involved in, in doing, I know the, uh, the, the piling was done, uh, and now you're going into the next stage and the next stage and the next stage, and you've, you've got good, reputable companies to, to build this. Uh, what's the time frame of completion? Uh, well, the construction contract's 24 months. Okay. So I, I would have no doubt that 24 months' time I, I will be uh, able to let people in the in their door. Okay, which is always good stuff. Now, it's, it's EIA approved and everything is underway. The fact that real estate is now back as an asset class, yeah. whereas two, three years ago people were writing off real estate. Mm. It, it was just a bad word. Yeah. But um, I think it, it, it shows that real estate always comes back. Go Sorry, I was just, is, is your focus with, with Kingdom, is it exclusively Patia? Will you be looking at Bangkok or other markets? or is, is it, it, At this juncture, it's exclusively Patia. Right. I, I think uh, being a small company, which we are, we're, we're not huge, uh, we need to focus and, and maximise the opportunities that we have and, and not get distracted. And Patia is the best space to be anyway, so why... Absolutely. Mm. Um, you can come to Patia and you can live a very, very much a Western-style life uh, with, with very, very, very good uh, infrastructure, 
the, the health care here is very good, the schools are very good, uh, and so you don't have to compromise. And I think, you know, outside of the capital cities in Asia, I can't think of anywhere else where you don't have to make some compromise. You know, yeah. if, you, if you live on the holiday islands, um, th there are always compromises to be made, whether that's Phuket, Bal Bali or wherever. Here, I, I don't feel that I'm having to make those compromises. And what Nigel said a minute ago, it takes him an hour and 15 minutes to his home in Bangkok. It's probably just over an hour to get to uh, Suwanapum, a big yeah. international airport that, that can fly you to pretty much anywhere in the world. So there's an awful lot of convenience uh, with living here. And, you know, lots and lots of reasons why I think people will continue to use this place as a, as a, as a home or a second home uh, from all around the world. Have a, uh, a good weekend this week. Enjoying that party. Uh, Nigel Cornick, thank you very much for coming in and being our guest this week. Tim, as always, a pleasure to see you. And uh, Dave... Okay. Same time, same place next week. Right now, then, let's get back into uh, the news. I think it's uh, time for the BBC to hit the schedule.